Thank you for allowing me to cook for you today. Today, I will be preparing the bread, my breaded pork chops with mini roast potatoes, as well as sauteed green beans. Now that you're ready, we're ready to cook. I've got my apron on so I don't make a mess, and I've got some closed out shoes so I don't harm myself with the knives. First, we should start with the potatoes since they're gonna take the longest. Make sure all the potatoes are flat in the pan and cover them with your favorite seasoning. Now we're gonna start some water to boil the beans. Pro tip, use some hot water for the beans so it takes less time to boil when you put it on the oven top. Also, remember add salt. You're adding salt to the pot to flavor the beans. We're making breaded pork because I think it adds a lot, I keep a lot more of the juices which adds flavor and texture. To, come, to make that flavor capturing even easier, we're using panko breadcrumbs because it captures the flavor we want without adding the bready flavor that I don't like. We're also going to be adding crispy onions just to add a little more flavor to it because flavor is the most important thing in this dish. Make sure to crush the onions very fine. We are using the eggs to hold the breading onto the meat. The meat is going to be cooked in a very hot oil for five minutes on both sides so that the flavor will come out and we can have juicier meat. I will hold the knife like this so I don't actually cut my fingers while I'm using the knife. Set the oven for 400 degrees for two minutes to get the potatoes crispy. Our sauce needs some garlic. An easy way to mince garlic is by using a knife and using a little bit of pressure a little bit of pressure so you can get the skin off very neatly. Instead of using a knife to mince our garlic, we're going to use a micro punk because it's safer. Making sure not to hurt yourself while using the micro plane. The sauce will be best if you add a roux. One part oil, one part flour. Bubbles. That's how you know it's hot. Now I'm going to use tongs to put it in so I don't hurt myself. Make sure that you don't get in the way of the flashback from the oil. We are looking for a golden color and for the temperature to be 160 degrees to 2 degrees. Thank you for this opportunity to cook for you. Bon appetit. Bon appetit.